Uh, well, we're back here on God knows what. I'm just going to say Jiggy Jag TV, uh, Community Access Television, uh, the lowest rated show on access, number one in hell, and uh, JiggyJagWire.com. You're probably going to be hearing this. You're not going to be seeing this, but... You know, I'm gonna act like it's a TV show, so we'll just we'll just go with it. Uh, Ross, say hi. Hi, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Who are we interviewing tonight I here? Know. Well, that's the thing. Ashton, how you doing? Ashton Moore. Hi, thanks nice for to meet uh, you. Thank you. Thanks for doing this. I appreciate it. Um, give us some background, real quick. Um, my name is Ashton Moore. I've been in the adult entertainment business for. Approximately nine years now. I've been a contract girl with um, major contract companies such as Adam and Eve, Jill Kelly Productions, Club Jenna, and Playboy. I've also been featured in most of your adult men's magazines, and I'm a feature dancer. I dance all across the U.S. and Canada. So, uh, what exactly are you doing in Wichita, Kansas, of all places? <laughs> you know what? Honestly, the smaller the town, um, the more fun, the better we do. It, it's funny how that works, but... You know, I feature in cities like New York and Los Angeles and, and feature dancers out there a dime a dozen, but you come to a smaller town and people are more excited to meet you and see you and, and watch me perform, and I feed off the crowd. So, really, it's fun. It's been a nice weekend. The laws here are a little different. Um, I spent the first day in the courthouse <laughs> and uh, schmoozing a couple of the older ladies that all worked in the office and uh, begging and pleading. And you, do, and you do lesbian porn, so that probably I, do. I, I don't think that went over well with them. I don't think that helped me at all <laughs> but uh i did i kind of got on their level and and just was very kind and respectful and ex you know explaining that i wasn't going to go around them i wasn't trying to go against the rules and i wouldn't get on stage without having my license but it was it, it was work on the first day i was freaked out i didn't know if i was going to be able to be performing here but um they were extremely nice and and everything worked out and i've been here tonight will be my third night featuring so this is the first time this has ever I've ever heard that you had to be a light. What, did you have to go to the athletic commission? What's going on here? <laughs> this is very different. Um, like I said, in nine years of dancing, um, most states, even if the girls have to be licensed, um, for feature dancers, there's a loophole in there, and it's always different. There have been, aside from Canada, there have been two states that I've had to be licensed in, but it's a matter of getting up that morning, going down to... Um, the office and, and filling out one piece of paper. They run a quick background check. They take your picture and you walk out of there five minutes later. Um, with Wichita, I was actually sent paperwork 60 days ago. It was um, like 27, 28 pages of paperwork that I had to fill out. Um, they run a thorough background check, which I'm squeaky clean, had nothing to worry about. Um, but everything has to be submitted 30 day and approved 30 days before I were to appear. I thought we had done everything. Everything was good. I never heard anything from anybody saying there was a problem. So I flew in this week on Wednesday night, got in at about 11 o'clock at night, and found out there was a problem. There were supposed to be four passport size photos that were supposed to be attached, which, of course, from Arizona, I had no way to fax them. I would have had to mail them. But, again, nobody contacted. Nobody said anything until I got here Wednesday night. So I spent all night freaking out. Wide awake, got up first thing Thursday morning, went down, had passport pictures taken, showed up at the courthouse, and again had to beg and plead to these ladies to do what should have probably been done 30 days prior to push the whole process through by 5 o'clock that day. Ross, jump to get a license. Uh, so, so it sounds like to dance in Wichita, Kansas, it's like uh, it's half. It, 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 it's kind of like uh, having but ironically, to. Ironically, they made it happen within a matter of like four or five hours for me. Also, when well, it came down well, to you it, can't so. get a permit to, to to build a fence in that time. <laughs> it, it yeah, I I know I don't know I don't know what to tell you. I <laughs> but you you but did no, it. You 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 sound like a dedicated individual who wants to do this. I, I That's true. Them, I wasn't going against the rules on purpose. Um, they had said, you know, if I didn't have my license, they were going to send the cops in. They were going to hit me up while I was on stage. I would have been arrested. I would have been fined. It's a hefty fine. The club would have been fined. It was a big ordeal. And when I went in, the lady said they were actually very um, pleased that I was trying to comply with their rules. And I, I was trying to comply 60 days ago, thinking I had done everything I was supposed to do. And you know, had to make sure that they understood I was trying to do everything to comply. So, yeah, I, interesting. I, 
this this just amazes the crap out of me. Now, I, of am, course, I, I, I am so... I wanted, had I met somebody here and wanted to get married that day, I could have gone down, filled out a thing, shrunk the courthouse and gotten married, but... But in order, like I did. On stage, in order to dance naked on stage here, it was a huge process. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's harder to get a license to dance in Wichita than it is to go down and marry somebody in the same day. Would they Funny, let huh? you be a stripper it, with your record? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Jigman Freud would not be able to be a stripper. Anything on your record, you, you're not allowed to be a stripper. I'm screwed. <laughs> Now, uh, when you dance, do you get to pick out your music or do the? I do. No, everything um, is all me. I have all my costumes. I pick out my music. I dance to songs that I enjoy, that I like. I zone when I'm up there, up there on the stage. Um, I dance to songs that I like the words to, and um, I do my thing. It makes me perform better for the audience. Did you start out as a stripper getting into porn, or were you a porn chick that went, hey, I'm going to make extra money being a stripper? <laughs> both <laughs> um no i danced when i was younger um for about a year or so just to kind of put myself through college and and use it as a stepping stone and then put your way through college is always the excuse i actually have my degree in interior design i have oh, my wow. real estate license i have my real estate appraisal license and i've been director of new business development and strategy for uh, one of the largest